Taurus, it's me, Stormy, and here's your horoscope for April 2018. All right, Taurus, if you've been looking to study some astrology in the summertime, I now have a 101 summertime program that's going to be launching. We're going to study all through the month of June, all five weeks. So if you're wanting to sign up, click in the description box down below or come visit me at stormygrace.com. Taurus, what has been going on? <laughs> it is almost birthday time, so happy birthday that's coming around the corner here for you it's very exciting i'm a taurus so i'm hype about this time of year but i gotta talk to you about some things that have been going on we're gonna look about this month right how have you been coping what have you been over there up to coping wise the world has been big and busy we've been going through some change you're a fixed energy have you been turning to food have you been what's been going on in your shadow places because we're coming into april with mercury still retrograde that's our communication planet our planet of the mind our thinking our decision making and for you taurus it is very common that when things up here feel out of control we turn to something to soothe the body so and it can sometimes be done destructively right not necessarily drugs alcohol but it could be but it could be food it could be extra sleeping it could be extra shopping whatever it is mercury's coming into this month lighting up this 12th house space for you to say what are you afraid of let's let it go let's get some closure on this last piece of our life it's okay let's move forward also what is this self-defeating behavior over here and let's get that out of the way as well so we're definitely going to have mercury working on that until about the 15th 16th of this month and then really you're gonna have to keep it under check until may 3rd when mercury comes all the way out of shadow time okay but i see you and it's okay you might just be trying to cope but let's jump in and break this month down officially so we can talk about these placements coming into the month we've got mars and saturn in a conjunction and they are both in the sign of capricorn okay for you this is happening in the ninth house now mars and saturn together can be kind of bullish they can kind of be pushy but where they're actually very good is that being in the sign of Capricorn they're going to want to achieve so they're on good behavior they're gonna help you get things done this is a great movement energy for you to start moving some things forward now the ninth house I always talk about it first and foremost as the house of faith Taurus you have got to know you have got to use this Mercury retrograde in this 12th house in your most sacred between the world space to know and come to understand that whatever you are calling on has got your back. It's okay to have a big enough faith to take a leap and get different, to expand out. Because the ninth house is the house of expansion out, right? So some of the things you may be working on are publishing, broadcasting. Maybe it's time to get that book out there. Oh, hey, do you have a dissertation you're trying to defend? It's okay educationally to get different. Maybe you're ready to step in and study something. Whatever it is, these two big boys show up and are ready to help you get some things done. Now, fourth and the fifth of this month, we've got this Mercury that is retrograde going to come into a square with this Mars and Saturn conjunction. Now, what this can do is create a little bit of angry or depressing or hard conversation just for these couple days. And so this is that conversation that looks like grow up, right? Like you got to come to the other side of this. We've got to mature. And this doesn't always have to be that someone's delivering you a hard conversation. But a square in astrology tells us we need action now. So it will do something to spur you into making some kind of change in your behavior, attitudes, or communication, okay? Now, where I think that this is great with all of these energies together is that it gives you this push to move forward. What is the goal? Where are you trying to get? Wherever you're trying to get, all of these energies are going to propel you forward. And they're very, very positively influenced here by Saturn being in, in control of so much discipline. So work this in your ninth house. Whatever it is you're trying to expand out, this is you. On the 14th, we've got Jupiter, who is now retrograde, um, in the sign of Scorpio. It's going to come into a sextile with 
Pluto, who's over here in Capricorn, this is also happening in your ninth house. And this says success is coming. Success is yours to have and you don't have to force it. You don't have to push it. You don't have to do any of those things. In fact, someone could even step into your world who has a power or a sphere of influence in some way and they help you to move this forward. It's an absolutely delicious energy. So I hope that you take advantage of it, okay? Because you do have Jupiter over here in this seventh house and then Pluto's over here in this ninth house. So this could be a relationship stuff changing as well. And you want that new relationship to come in and help you. When we get to the 15th of the month, not only do we see Mercury coming direct in the sign of Aries, but keep in mind that just because Mercury is coming direct does not mean he's ready to party. He's not like, yes, tell me your woes. How can I help you transform? Give him a few days. It's turned into springtime while he was sleeping. He needs to turn around and like be like, yay, springtime's here. You know, give him a minute, then he'll resume his orbit. And then your thought process, your decision making, your communication, your reality, your clarity could come in about, oh, maybe I don't need to be doing this behavior over here. Maybe it's okay for me to let it go. Maybe it's okay for me to let my creativity shine. Whatever it is, things from the shadow sector, you may be willing to let some of them go. We also have the new moon happening in Aries, which is now going to, at the new moon, we plant these seeds of intention, new beginnings, right? What do we want here in the quietest space of yourself, in that fear? Do you wanna know that you outgrew this cycle of fear? Do you wanna know that you let that sad relationship go? Do you wanna know that you're ready to be willing to be willing to let something go that maybe is not so healthy for you? Cause that's an excellent place to start. The new moon here lets you plant those seeds of intention and get ready to grow them. When we get to the 17th, we see Saturn moving into retrograde until September. This is in your ninth house. Now this is in, absolutely deliciously rewarding time of clarity where you've been trying to push and move and hustle forward and create new structure and create new boundaries and define what is important to you right make your mark make your space you get the chance to reevaluate it and you also get a little break from saturn right from the heaviness of saturn direct now on the 22nd pluto is also going to go retrograde and even though pluto is an outer planet and it's so subtle, right? It's still significant because this allows you to do some really good house cleaning, old hurts, old beliefs. You know, Taurus, for so many of you, you're coming out into the world as different people right now, whether that be you went from graduating from high school and now you're going to be, you know, a graduate. If you're graduating in any program educationally, if you're going from I've never written a book to now I'm writing a book, I'm publishing a broadcast, I'm getting an, um, an um, you know what I'm saying, any of those things, any of those things that are causing you to start to show up publicly differently, you may have to let go of any old hurts, old ideas, old things that people told you, old things you told yourself, and allow your faith to expand out here. Now on the 19th, the sun moves into Taurus, so birthday time. I'm so excited for us, okay? So we've got the sun, we've got light, heat, life, vitality pumping through the Taurus veins as well. Ruling planet Venus is over there, so this is just delicious. You could be beautiful, you could feel beautiful. Even if you don't, if you feel like trash, people could be coming to you. You could actually be magnetic. This is a wonderful energy at birthday time so eat that up like don't eat it up if it's bad for you but eat it up like if it's good you know like calorie free when we get to the 24th of the month venus moves on and moves into the sign of gemini this lights up your second house so communications are happening here now you could have a talent or a skill or a product or something that you could be putting out into the world and it's bringing back financial value to you or you could also be realigning some of your values in the world you know are you getting rid of something Another thing to consider is you had this Jupiter-Pluto sextile at the beginning of the month that somebody helped you usher in a new opportunity to where your value has risen. You know what I'm saying? You've come to that next place. Now you have something else to offer, right? So this could definitely have a financial benefit to you. Um, so keep your eyes out for that. This could be something that definitely comes from that opportunity at the beginning of the Now as we end the month here on the 29th, we've got a full moon happening at six degrees of Scorpio. This is happening in the seventh 
seventh house for you. The full moon says that we have to look at adjusting, acknowledging, or getting ready to watch something come to a culmination. And I think one of the biggest relationships that's going to be ending or changing is the one that you have with yourself and the one that you, as the new you, have with the outside world. Now this also has a really really positive aspect to the sun saturn trine that's happening so this helps you get work done it helps you clean out these old cobwebs of the past and be prepared to move valuably honorably towards something better and different as a new person um, as we get to the end of april so it's really a very exciting time i mean it's just kind of a beautiful coming out party just in time for the birthday so i hope you have an absolutely beautiful month i look forward to seeing you in may like this video comment share subscribe and i hope to see you studying astrology with me in the summertime bye guys